I can't believe anybody survived it. The bed shook, that's how big it was. Well, right now at six o'clock, a home is reduced to rubble by an explosion that rocked a Bucks County neighborhood. Well, good evening, everyone. I'm Natasha Brown in for Yuki, Washington. And I'm Jessica Cartalia. So much debris all over the street. Thankfully, no one was hurt. But investigators want to know what caused the explosion that was heard and felt miles away. Well, the home is in the 4200 block of Biddeford Circle in Doylestown, Bucks County. That's in Buckingham Township. And that's where our Matt Petrillo is live tonight. Matt, a family of four lived in that home. Yeah, and they are devastated. Here's why. Take a look at that home. You can see it is just destroyed and with it so many years of memories made by that family. Neighbors tell us during that explosion, they felt the ground shake. Almost lifted up off the bathroom floor. The loudest explosion I ever heard and my, my ears are still ringing. This family home has been ripped into pieces after an explosion just before 10 o'clock this morning here in Buckingham Township near Doylestown. The blast startling neighbors. The bed shook. That's how big it was. Police say the husband and wife who lived here were at work. Their two boys in school when a propane tank may have leaked, causing the explosion. We were very lucky that nobody was inside or near that when that went. So we're thankful for that. Here's what the home looked like in 2013 in a Google image, and here's what it looks like now. The blast so strong, a window flew some 30 feet landing in the street. Some debris seen hanging in tree branches, very little remained untouched. But this evening, the homeowners were joined by friends and loved ones, helping salvage what they could. Materialistic things that got destroyed, but no lives. Again, no one was hurt in that blast. That's because the parents were at work, the kids at school. Meantime, neighbors tell us that family is now staying with relatives. Reporting live in Buckingham Township, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.